week 139 at Lick Friday and same as last week we've got the new exclusive backing track at the end of this video for this week's lick. Um, this week's lick is kind of a slowish one but I want you to work more on the dynamics of it than the amount of notes that you were using and things like that. Um, so it's all based around the pentatonic G minor which um, some will be pleased to know and I will play the track and break it all down for you now. See you in a mo. Okay, so this one, week 139, um, with this it's all working on more technique than it is speed, so you've got some uh, palm muted or staccato notes, it's dependent on how you want it to sound, you can try both techniques, so your palm muting is going to be... Um or if you're going to cut it short with staccato... Which sounds a little bit more funky but it all depends on what sort of sound you want from it so I would say try in both so the palm mute you're going to stick the side of your palm onto the slightly on the strings and slightly on the bridge and that will give you your chug chug noise um, or if you're staccato basically you bring your palm mute further back and you can quickly get that on the strings just after you pick it so like or keep it on there as you play through. It's all going to give you a different sound, there's no right or wrong way to do it, so just experiment really. But this is the lick along with the track, here we go. Going to play it up the octave as well. Okay, so um, breaking it down then, as I said, it's using staccato notes, so you're cutting the notes short um, rather than letting it ring out. So we're, this, it's, again, it's a fairly simple lick, but we're just using shape three, shape three, there, there, shape five of the pentatonics and shape one of the pentatonics into shape two of the pentatonics, back to shape one. Um, so we're starting off with fret five, uh, fret three on the sixth string. I'll get it right in a minute. Bear with me. Um, so we've got, and then it's straight to the fifth string, fret one, fret three, and fret five. Try and take note of the fingers that I'm using. Um, and then you've got fret three, fret five on the fourth string. And then this is where the sort of blues curl comes in. So um, it's the fret three on the third string. You're going to bend that slightly at the end, only a very small amount. So, so the fifth fret on the fourth string. Then we've got a slide from the five into the six, back to the five, and then pull off to the three, all on that third string. So. Okay. Then we're sliding from the fifth fret third string to the seventh to the sixth fret on the second string whilst you've still got the seventh fret ringing from your slide. So back to the seventh fret, sliding back down to the five on that third string, pulling off to the three on the third string, and then it's the uh, fifth fret on that fourth string to finish. So, okay. So you get slow, you end up with... And if you were, again, taking it up the octave, same as you did last week, and so fret 3 is now going to become fret 15, Fret 1 is going to be fret 13, fret uh, 5 is going to be 17, etc, etc. So it's um, a nice way to try and get used to the same uh, pentatonic shapes up the octave. And it's a really nice thing to do because you can actually take the same licks, put them an octave higher, and they give you a slightly different vibe, and it's great for building on solos. So get used to that. Anyway, backing track is coming up. Social media stuff should be on there somewhere and your website should be down there for all your free PDFs for this lesson and other lessons. So please go and visit that website for all your free stuff and I shall see you next week for week 140. See you later, bye.